In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a Google Analytics account to your WebStarts website in order to track your site visitors' behavior. I'll be adding the code they provide to this test site of mine, steve-designer.com. Let's start by going to google.com forward slash analytics. I've got that open here. From here, you'll click the sign in link located here in the upper right hand corner, followed by the Google Analytics tab from the options provided. Now, if you already have a Google Analytics account, then you'll likely be taken directly to it from here. Uh, if not, you'll need to follow the steps to create one. It's important to note here that it, you must have a Google account to associate the Analytics account with. Uh, this is true for any product or service that Google provides. Chances are you already have a Google account, but if not, make sure to create one now. Since I don't have an Analytics account set up yet, I'll need to click the Sign Up button to get started. And I'll do that now and you just need to follow these steps to create the account. Uh, this is a website, uh, not a mobile app, so I wanna make, leave this as website, account name. Uh, I'm gonna name it something relevant to my domain name because there may be multiple sites that I'm managing and this is something that is obviously a unique identifier. Uh, website name, same thing. URL, of course, the same thing. We'll add a www in there and category is computers and electronics and I'm on the East Coast so I will choose Eastern Time this is going to be important when you're reviewing your analytics you want it to be relevant to uh, where you're located uh, or where your business is from if you're operating in a different time zone by all means uh, choose uh, what's relevant to your customers because that might make more sense either way um, Data sharing, uh, you can leave this checked, you can uncheck it, uh, it's completely up to you. I'd suggest you read through those. And then your next step is get tracking ID. Now I'll need to go through these terms and conditions, uh, decide if it's right for me, and I think it is. I have to expand this a little bit to get to the accept button. There's an accept button down here that you'll need to click. Uh, click I accept or do not accept, I accept. Now here I'm taken directly to the page where I can grab the code I need and add it to my website. For those of you who already had an analytics account who may have been taken to the account homepage here, um, you can access the tracking code page at any time by clicking admin, followed by tracking info, and then tracking code. And you'll be taken directly to the same spot. Um, now the first panel you'll see here is just some basic information about the analytics account and how to best use the code. This video is by no means a complete tutorial on how to use analytics, as that would require a much, much longer video to be sure. Feel free to read through these analytics education banners as they refer to them uh, now or at any time in the future by looking for the graduation cap here um, and toggling it on and off. You can see that I can turn that on and off. Uh, you'll find that all over the account uh, and it's going to provide you with relevant information about how to best manage that page. Um, for now, I'm going to go ahead and shut that off and we'll go down here to grab the code. Uh, here's the code listed in the website tracking. Uh, it's just some basic JavaScript code. I will start by selecting it all and then copying it to my clipboard. Now that I have the code copied to my clipboard, I will go back to my web starts count and I will click edit website. Now I'm going to want to add this to each and every page that I wish to track uh, in my site as adding it to just one page will only track that page. We'll start by adding it to the home page by clicking add scroll down to embed HTML code click on that and then paste the code that you have copied from your analytics account to the window provided and click OK and that little snippet that you've added will be represented by a transparent uh, box on the page um, where you place this is not relevant and won't matter in terms of tracking the page however if I were to place this say over this button uh, over a video, over my menu, uh, anything that's, click that's clickable will uh, no longer be clickable because it'll be covered by this box. So just make sure you're aware of that when you're placing it because um, that is going to be, that will affect the usability of the website. Uh, once it's added, I will save the page. I will view the page. Now that, by having the code on there, uh, will now you can see that this obviously there's no interaction with that box but uh, adding the code on the page will have triggered an event 
I should go be able to go back to my account and see that event. Now, it's important that you understand that this isn't real time. The, the stuff that you're tracking on your website uh, is being recorded by Google, but they're not necessarily going to report that right away. So you might, it might take a few minutes to see that. However, they do have a real time tool that you can click and you can click overview. And you can see that there is one person on the site. Uh, in fact, uh, you can see it even down to the second how long that's been open. So uh, this is a pretty cool tool that gives you some real time uh, stats. However, it's not really that accurate in terms of where they're at and what they're doing. The behavior overview is actually going to give you uh, the real accurate data over a longer period of time. So this is what you're going to use this in the real time. Don't forget to add that code to the rest of your pages uh, to make sure that you're tracking those other pages as well. Um, but that should just about do it. If you have any other questions, be sure to let us know. Thanks.